Hi and welcome back to the next episode of Up The Shed. This episode we're looking at starting the homemade rotary brooch tooling. Um, a couple of videos ago I mentioned that we were going to do this, I showed the drawings, so what I'm going to do quickly is get you back into the bench, we'll quickly go over the drawings again, just to remind you and I what we're doing, and then we'll get on with some machining. I've already got the main body in the lathe, um, all ready to go, um, so as I say, we'll get into the bench and then we'll get some cutting done. Okay, well as you can see, this is my drawing for the wobble brooch, or the hex broaching tool. This is the main body. This uh, is a bearing, a thrust, wa thrust washer plate, a thrust washer, and then the actual holder itself. And um, this is all drawn square. Now I've, I've counted this over by uh, one degree. I've got a slightly larger picture here. So what I've decided to do is actually put the one degree inside the actual holder itself, inside the body. So we've got the, the center line that runs through the workpiece and then this red line is actually replacing this tool bit. Now, what I've done, I've actually gone for pre-made tool bits that have a shank diameter of 12 millimeters at the base, and they stick out 25 millimeters from this shoulder to the tip, to the center of the tool. So the reason for that is, is that no matter what tool I buy from the company that I bought them from, which they have a very, very wide selection. And this is a company called MTS Driven Tools. No affiliation. This is just something I found online. I thought, well, this is an easy way for me to be able to change tool bits to get different sizes and not have to worry about what um, you know, what length I need to be, where I need to be on centre, because these always will be the way I'm designing it. And these also come, I can get the same size tool to do other bits and pieces as well. So I can do splines, um, there's squares, there's loads of different things, but they will all come out um, the correct size. So these all have a 12mm shank at the base, and they're all, from this shoulder under here to the top, they're all 25mm. So what that does, that allows me to, basically, so that red line is essentially that piece. So that allows me then to work out exactly where I need to tilt this from. So I've drawn this initially square, in, in the or parallel in the bore, added my holder in there, and then added the tool bit within the holder, and it gives me to the end of this red line. So then, once I pivot from here, because this would be the center of the workpiece, and drops down one degree from the outside edge, once this is um, flattened off across the top here at one degree, it gives me a dimension of 24.31 millimeters. Now I've got a piece of 50mm or just over 50mm stock mounted in the lathe ready to go. So what <coughs> I'm going to do here today is bore the back out and bore most of this out and then what we're going to do um, in, a, in a day or so um, is take it down to a local machine shop and they're going to actually going to put this one degree in for me because I don't own a um, boring head for the milling machine yet. So. That's what we're going to do. As I say, this is mounted in the lathe, so we'll get to that now. And if you, anyone is interested, as I say, there's no affiliation. I just, I've just found them very, very helpful. It's mtsdriventools.co.uk, and uh, yeah, very, very helpful people. I do obviously lots of more, lots more stuff, but that's what I'm using for. Okay, so um, let's get to it. Okay, we should be on size, so we'll just give it a quick measurement, just to check. So we have 25 point 
zero two. According to that. Yep, 25.02. So I'm going to make a note of that. We'll take this out of the chuck now. We'll remove the chuck and then I'll set up the arbor. I've got a, this is a, an MT3 spindle. So I've got an MT3 to an MT2 adapter. So we'll get all that set up and then I'll, I'll bring it back when we're ready to cut that down to size. Right, well off camera I've taken the final cut, so we're down to 20.05, um, if you remember the body was 20.02, so I want to make this 20.03 to give me a 0.01 press fit, um, I'll also use some high strength retaining uh, Loctite as well, so I'm just going to polish this down and get that last 0.02 out of this, um, it shouldn't take too long. So. There we are. So I can bring that in. I'm not sure if that'll focus on my hand or not. Doesn't look like it will, but 0.03. Um, okay, so my battery's running low, uh, so I'm going to put that on charge. But essentially, um, all I need to do is deburr these edges or shamp you know, take, take the sharpness off the edges. And then uh, we're going to push on the, the body. So I'll bring you back then. Right, well we're back at the bench. I've had to remove the MT2 arbor. The guys that are going to do this for me can't mount this with the MT2 arbor on it. Um, so I've just got to be you know, very, very careful when I remount this, make sure that it goes flat back against this surface here. So all we're going to do is cap this over one degree. they will flat the top and then um, take the bore, do the internal bore for me. And then I'll hopefully just pop a couple of holes so I can um, mount, mount the, the top as such, mount the lid as such. Um, but yeah, so essentially that part is for now done. Um, when I bring you back, we'll be at the machine shop and uh, they'll get it done on there. They're going to do it on their CNC for me. Um, so yeah, so I'll bring you back then. Okay, well as you can see, we're down at the local machine shop. We've got the main part in the CNC machine. So they're going to dust the top off of that, just face it on the top. And then we're going to bore the one degree hole, 35 millimeters diameter and 48.5 millimeters deep. So. Um, yeah, fantastic. So we're just going to get set up and I'll bring you back hopefully when we're cutting. I'm not sure how much we're going to see when we've got the coolant running, but um, yeah, we'll try our best. So. It's like a kid in a candy store. I mean, it's fantastic. CNC machines, uh, milling machines, loads and loads of cupboards. Just in that room over there, they've got a little uh, testing area with a little surface table in there, a massive surface table. And then if we go around the other side of the CNC, 
we've got some manual machines and a, another CNC lathe down there. Um, we've got an old capstan lathe here and then a Triumph 2000. So, yes, yeah, so we're, we're near at the start. So, uh, I'll bring you back when we're cutting. So there we are, we're done. Um, we're down to depth, and that is a nice snug fit. We've done so we're clear at the top, do literally a slip fit at the top, and then we've done a, a press fit at the bottom. Because um, if I ever have to take these out, it'll only ever be the top bearing that comes out. So uh, it's perfect. Okay, well, we're uh, away from the machine shop. I'm back up to the uh, back up the shed, and as I say, as you can see, we're now to size on our bore there. Um, so the next thing for me to do is to make the actual holder, which is this part, which will be nice and easy to do. So we'll get that done, and then after that, uh, that'll be in part two, and then after that, we'll look to make the thrust washer or thrust plate and the top cap to um, fit obviously the diameter and the and this uh, this hole pattern or hole pattern these two holes and they're on a 42 mil diameter so that should be fairly easy to to work out and then it's just uh, a matter of assembly and uh, obviously get it pressed back onto the um, MC2 arbor there so uh, yeah so um, I'll bring you back in part two where we start to build the actual tall bit body so thanks for watching